So I do, I work in the space business, which can be pretty stressful because, well, it is rocket science. And my particular job is in providing health care for astronauts, which is brain surgery. <laughs> so when we do everything right, no big deal. But when we screw up, we fuck up big. <laughs> and usually the whole world is watching. So I was pretty nervous about doing the show tonight. And I thought I'd ask a colleague what he does to get rid of nervousness before he does something big. You know, he's an astronaut, former military commander, pretty cool cat. I told him I was going to do stand-up comedy. And he said, holy fuck! You're going to do that? I mean, you've got balls as big as brass church bells. I'd sit my ass on a rocket and zoom to Mars. Or I'd lead an armed commando squad against a bunch of hairy-ass Kalashnikov-toting terrorists before I'd stand up in front of a group and try to be funny. So he wasn't much help. I'm thinking to myself, Houston, we have a huge problem. I mean, it's hard enough being a rocket surgeon and a brain scientist. But when you throw horny on top of that, you're just asking for trouble. So yeah, I'm a horny nerd. But a friendly horny nerd. I'm curious about things like, why do men have nipples? Do you think whales yawn? Or do female dogs have orgasms? We know male dogs do because that's where puppies come from. But do you think a male dog is sensitive to a female dog's needs and emotions? I don't think so because that's what we call female dogs bitches. It's proper English, ask James, he's in the back. I once had a really jealous girlfriend. She actually accused me of getting aroused while we were watching The Little Mermaid. Now, I like to eat sushi, but cartoons just taste like colored wrapping paper. Besides, everybody knows that Cinderella is the really odd babe.